NC zero Q. Uh, it's June second, twenty thirteen, or excuse me, July second, twenty thirteen, and I just finished the multi-band board itself. Um, you probably noticed right away that some of the toroids are sitting on the board a little crooked, and that's because I wound all my toroids before I bothered soldering them to the board and that's when I realized I wasn't paying any attention to the direction in which I was winding the toroids and that has an effect of how clean of an installation you get. I don't think the RF is going to care and ultimately this is what enclosures are for. Uh, those doodads there I'm not so sure about. I still have to install the board and uh, perform some testing as you can see I got the uh, well, I could probably pull all these off I, I know I can but I left them on there I didn't feel like dinking around with that uh, I got the cables on there G11 boards back in the enclosure um, so what's left to do as near as I can tell is install the multi-band board and see if it works. I kind of departed from the suggested um, order sequence of uh, the suggested sequence in the manual if you can call it that and just went ahead and populated the board and uh, soldered everything on so hopefully everything works. Next video will be uh, the, the, the radio working, I hope.